IBM, sure enough, by 2016, IBM was starting to use the term AI, and in 2017, they really used the term AI. And uh, so now everybody's talking about AI. So why are we still talking about cognitive computing, you might ask? When we have cognitive on the left, we've got all these things in the middle, and we've got AI on the right. What, how do these two things come together? So this is what uh, we propose from the standpoint of, of our consortium that the uh, fundamental differentiation is the extent to which the machine can emulate human uh, thought processes, behaviors, and interactions. So on the left, in the, under the AI umbrella, we propose that only fully autonomous systems should be considered in the realm of AI. Now, almost no system that you've heard recently tagged AI is a fully autonomous system. And we'll get into this a little bit more. But then, uh, and the machine under the uh, autonomous model, the machine is literally uh, doing the work of the human brain. No human brain need apply. That's the meaning of autonomous. And then the machine is literally put in the um, position of being an author of its own actions. Now contrast this, moving to the right, to the gray area, um, I don't think, did we think about, uh, Sue, you can probably help me out, did we think about gray matter when we were saying, <laughs> when we did this? Anyway, uh, on the right, under the cognitive column, uh, the machine behavior is dependent on the human, the gray matter of the human that sets up the machine. And the machine is an information tool, uh, and it's an agent of some uh, business process or some intention of a human being and it becomes a, more like an assistant than, a, than an indiv independent actor. In fact, it is, well, it's not necessarily an assistant, but it very much can be. So um, given that this, there's this uh, terminology, I mean, we think that this is a clear way to think about it, but in the market in general, there's a uh, real confusion around the vision of AI, what is cognitive, uh, do we even think about cognitive anymore? And so that leads to uh, the period that we're in now, which I'm, uh, referring to as the early chaotic era. And uh, that's because we have confusion from multiple vendor interpretations. We're missing trusted resources. Uh, this is credible guidelines and information are in short supply. That's one of the main reasons that uh, we founded the Cognitive Computing Consortium. The skill sets to deal with these technologies are in short supply. We're missing the cross silo networks of people actually within organizations because the technology group and the manufacturing group or the technology group and the marketing group and or maybe all three uh, should be talking to each other in ways about these cognitive, cognitive I'm going to keep calling them cognitive applications. Um, and uh, they need to be able to talk together in order to uh, generate the kinds of decisions that would be made if a human committee from those groups uh, were to make such a decision.